Hello everyone, this is Terripper, and today we are playing some Chivalry Medieval Warfare, and I have been getting some good suggestions for tactics. Again, if you'd like to make a suggestion for a tactics or a Moronic Monday, leave it in the comments. But this suggestion, I'm not exactly sure who it's from, I think I've gotten it several times in the last couple months, has been for reposts. And uh, after learning how to properly say it, I'm going to actually make a tactics video of it. I know a year ago I said it completely wrong. Riposte. And I've got Sin here, my trusty friendo, to help me explain it. Guten Tag, indeed. And we're going to do our normal duel as usual with long swords. Trying to show you guys reposts whenever they make sense. Here, parry that one. Oh, oh, okay. The sick drags. Oh. No! Okay. <laughs> Sorry, brother. I had to do what I had to do. Everyone, I need you to witch hunch. No. It's a good fight. <laughs> but I'm going to explain to you guys how to do those awesome possum reposts that we were pulling off. And how to make them work for you. So, the chief idea, and the reason why you'd want to do a repost in the first place is because it gets rid of the wind-up phase of a weapon's attack. So, go ahead and just, just do an overhead, Sin. Yeah, there you go. It's really long, but it gets the job done. And now, uh, I'm going to try to hit him, and he's going to do a repost overhead. As you saw there, it was exceedingly sped up. And now you do the same to me. Especially if you if you accelerate it on your own. If you look down, crouch even, uh, you can accelerate it even further. And stabs and slashes are accelerated even more. And this is just for the longsword. I'm going to go into different speeded weapons in a little bit. But the general idea why you want to repost is because there is no wind-up. It speeds up the weapon inherently, mechanically. And this benefits faster weapons a little bit more because you can accelerate them extremely quickly, but also slower weapons because slower weapons generally deal a lot more damage. For instance, the maul. You can one-shot someone in a split second. We're going to show you that as well in a bit. So, a little corollary to that idea is that you can accelerate or drag, but accelerating is more mechanically efficient. So, uh, Sin's got a Norse right now, and we're going to show you just how that can happen. So, try to drag, just like, you know, decelerate overhead with uh, Norse repost. Whoops. So as you saw there, it's really not that effective. But now try to accelerate it. Yeah, as you saw, it's it's nigh unreadable. And now try to stab. Go ahead. Yeah, it's just, it's disgustingly fast, especially if you just get right up in someone's face. So, generally with faster weapons, you are going to want to always accelerate. And I'm going to get into that a little bit more in a second. However, another corollary to the main point of no wind-up, the speed thing, reverses and whirlwinds, this thing, go much quicker with reposts. So go ahead and try to strike me, and I'm going to, I'm going to show you... Hold on. I'm going to show them this one more time. So that kind of attack, which I completely missed, that kind of attack is already quite quick. However, if I work it off a repost... It's even faster. Uh, now let me try to actually hit you this time. It's even faster. Exceedingly quick. And reverses can be fast as well. And also, you saw me hit him at the end of both of those strikes. That's also a very valid thing to do. If you, if you just spin all the way around uh, and purposefully miss, it's a very valid thing to do. But generally, you do want to get the reverse the first time. And if you're face-hugging... It can be very easy to do. I have... I'm just terrible at it. I'll let you do it, Sin. I'm gonna try to strike you now. Fantastic. There. I'm just I'm just not particularly good at those kinds of reverses. But... Well, I'm a mole knight, so I have to use those. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and do a... Do a whirlwind for me. Oh. On the repost. <laughs> Incredibly quick. As you guys can see there. And let me do one more. Just try to get it off. Nice. So, it also be noted that you can't repost with alternate attacks. 
Yes, very true. Yeah, you have to do the normal attack all the time. Alternate attacks, for those of you who don't know, if you hold the Alt key, which is the default, it will swing the blade in the opposite direction. It'll also add, I believe, a 0.05 second uh, to the windup. 0.05 seconds to the windup. Something along those lines. I know it adds a tiny bit of time. So it's actually really good for dragging, but can't do it for reposts. So... Again, reverses and whirlwinds can be sped up significantly with the use of reposts. And now we're going to go into individual weapon types. So, fast weapons, such as the Norse Sword, can be accelerated to a ridiculous speed and should always be accelerated. So, uh, you also want to face hug as much as possible. I'm going to go ahead and go man at harms to do this. But you will always want to accelerate the quick weapons. And... Uh, as an example, quick weapons are Norse, Claymore, Sword of War. There's weapons that are built on speed and that rely on it heavily. So I'm going to run on in there. And as you guys have probably noticed, uh, something that I do a lot of the time with my man-at-arms is I get right up in someone's face. And I just, I, I try to get them to hit me as much as possible. And then I just, I go for that face hug stab that is just completely really hard to see that face hug repost of course you can get reverse face hug reposted as well and an easy way whoa there and an easy way to actually get your opponent to not be able to block that is to whoopsie daisy uh, is to kind of curve around them a bit as you do it it may lose a tiny bit of speed but at the same time makes it much harder for them to block or, you know, do some jumpy shit, whatever. And now, go ahead and do the same to me, Sin. To okay. show them what it looks like. As you can see, they're just incredibly fast. And you will also want to do this with overheads. Go ahead and strike me. If you do it properly, uh, it may look really stupid to your opponent. As you're, like, hitting the ground effectively. But if, if you miss, you'll hit the ground. But if you hit, you will hit exceedingly fast. So go ahead and do it to me now, Sin. Just, there isn't even a moment to process it. You have to watch the movement of your opponent's torso to actually be able to read something like that. You can't watch the weapon. It's not reliable. It's, it's, it's ridiculously, ridiculously fast with these fast weapons. Now, a weapon a little bit less ridiculously fast, but still in the fast category, I would place it. The Sword of War. I'm about to spawn with it. Uh... It will not give you the same results as the Norse, obviously, but as a knight, it's really your best bet for a decent damage to speed to range uh, little thing here. And go ahead and strike me, Sin. Actually, hold on. This is what the normal stab looks like. And strike me. This is the reposted stab. Exceedingly quickened up. Also, reposted overheads for this weapon can be ridiculous. Ah, also, reverses and whirlwinds with this thing are just stupid. Utterly stupid. One more. They, they, just, they just can't be seen. And uh, I'm not going to make Sin swap over, but he's got a maul getting ready for those slow weapons already. I'm going to go ahead and swap who's supposed to back over to the longsword, which I would consider to be a medium speed weapon. Now... Medium speed weapons, uh, thank you, Sin. Medium but speed weapons are, are are strange. They're very versatile. Obviously, the longsword is an extremely versatile weapon. It's hard to play at a high level skillfully, but when you master it, it's extremely effective. So, for posting with it, you are going to want to know what you want to do. So, if you're in the middle of a fight, if you're like neck and neck, you'll probably want to switch to Norse for this, Sin. If you're neck and neck and you, you are just having a repost war, you need to get very creative with this weapon. You need to kind of implement a drag, a deceleration here and there amongst your acceleration. So go ahead and let's just let's just get in a bit of a, a repost battle here. As well as just those really quick strikes. Oh, that was close. Nope. Nice, and... Very nice. Very nice. So, <clears throat> again, you need to use the versatility. Sin took advantage of 
my constant accelerating because he had the faster weapon. Uh, but if you actually use the if if you use the longsword, if you repost with it properly, so let, let me try to get off a dragged repost. Go ahead and hit me. I completely fucked that. Go ahead and hit me. It's actually very difficult to get off a drag repost. Uh, especially with this thing. Oh, with overheads, it's not as hard to do. Hold on. Let me regain stamina. Uh, eh. Again, excels are always mechanically advantageous. Uh, Alright, come at me, bro. See, that sort of thing in the midst of a heated battle can really screw up your opponent's timing. Uh, so that's that's just something to keep in mind with those medium speed weapons. Another other medium speed weapons I would consider are the Bardiche, the Billhook, uh, Halberd. A lot of Vanguard weapons can go into this territory. Greatsword, Spear, uh, Fork. Only a the Morning Star. And the Morning Star, yes, absolutely. The Morning Star stab though is could be considered fast for sure. Uh, Mace, War Axe, several, most, a lot of weapons will go into the medium category. Now for the slow category. Now, slow is weird. Uh, you need My favorite to, part. Yes. You need to know what you want to do. <clears throat> uh, just as with the medium weapon. However, you're generally going to want to accelerate. Because um, these weapons, <laughs> as with this mall here, hit really hard most of the time. And if you don't have to wind up with them, you just want to hit people really fast. So it makes perfect sense. So go ahead, Sin. Uh, show me the, the signature repost. With the mall. Uh, oh, that's not. What are you, what are you doing? Um, <clears throat> it's the reverse, my friend. Oh, yes. Go ahead and try to do that. There it that's is, folks. That's the signature of post. Five. Not even five milliseconds. Probably like three milliseconds. Reverse overhead and the jump. <laughs> yep. Reverse overhead and the jump with the mall. Repost. It's an insta kill. That just goes to show if you accelerate with slow weapons. You can get insta kills. Now, the Zwei will not insta kill the knight, but it can excel very effectively with reposts. So, go. Oops, sorry. Uh, I go ahead. Switch weapons. Go ahead and strike at me. Wait a minute. Let's both heal up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and strike at me. You see that? You can block that. Yeah, the ridiculous range and damage will totally screw your opponent. You just gotta look all the way down. That's all you gotta do. As well. You can get a really crazy tempo going just by virtue of uh, a single repost. Anyway, uh, let's get back to this. So actually, hit me again and let me try to do an acceleration with this thing. It's a lot more difficult, but it can definitely... Oh, oh I'm sorry, a, an accelerated stab with this thing. It's much more difficult than accelerated overhead because of the distance you have to travel. But... If I were to drag it, like so, work can Getting definitely be done. harder to parry. Oh, sorry. Stand oh, good, brother. Go ahead, get healed. Uh, it. Anyway, the, the overarching idea with slow weapons are you generally want to accelerate them, as that is the most effective way to just put out damage, but you can also drag to change tempo, uh, much like medium weapons. But it's a lot more effective than medium weapons because these are much slower as a res as just a rule. If you drag them properly like that, just like that, beautifully so. You gotta look all the way back and crouch though if you want to get that drag. Yeah, just as he just showed you there with the mall. Go ahead and do it to me now. Oh my, that's a good good accelerate. Um, try to do like a a, a a delayed overhead. Just like that. That took a while to reach me. Whoops. One more. And that right there, like, if I'm just blocking fucking hell, yeah. If I'm just blocking willy-nilly, that will hit me. No problemo. Alright, and, and just, just for shits and giggles, I'd like to show them how to pull off that mall move, so go ahead and end my pitiful existence. That went over your head. Kind of. <clears throat> nice. It went over the back of your head because you were leaned forward. Oh, oh, okay. Just tracers. That makes sense. Freaking tracers. So I just like to show you guys how to do this this crazy ass mall one shot. Uh, Sin, hit me. 
Okay. All right, you have to you be tried. right in front of the opponent. Okay, one more. Okay, I just, I have no... No, no thing. I'm having to relearn this, apparently. All right, well, I hit him. But, you need to you break his to face. You to do it properly. You have to jump. Yeah. One second. All right, hold on. Hit me one more time. Let's go. I didn't even post there. All right, go ahead. Whatever! It works! All right, but the gist is, guys, you want to repost, you want to stay right up in their faces, you want to repost, you want to block, repost, turn, jump, and just only enough so it'll break their face. You, you just got to give it a moment to wind up before you jump. Yeah, exactly. Hit me. Exactly. Hit me. Very, yeah, there you go. He did it probably. Hit me one more time. Yeah, just like that. Except aim for the face. All right, I think that's good enough for now. Just one more try. Hit me, hit me. I want to do this. Yeah! Oh, no. We did it, guys. There's one more tactic you should know about when it comes to. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. Do you know it, what right? I'm doing, Ripper. I am fucking hate. I told him when we weren't gonna do it, but he's gonna do it. All right, go ahead. <sighs> this is probably the most dickish move you can do with yep. an archer. Hit me. All right. Oh, I can't switch weapons while I'm jumping. Me. No. Yep. Come on now. All right, all right. <laughs> I Ready? can't parry. Yes. I can't switch weapons while I'm falling. Apparently. Oh, maybe they patched it. Nonetheless, once you reach the end of the jump, just switch to your cross. Yeah, it's oh Jesus. Seems to kill. Yeah, it's a really dick archer move. But if you, it's not really reposting so much as just if you get flung back by the parry, you can pull out your. It's an. Just don't. I like be to archers. call it a crossbow repost. Don't. <laughs> it's a crossbow repost. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, so, just a, uh, go, go back to night for me, would you? <laughs> yeah, you rat bastard. Just a <laughs> side note. Uh, past all of the weapon speeds and everything, if you're in a post battle, again, uh, like, like I was with Sin before, like, go ahead and invite me here. Something you can do to mess up your opponent's tempo big time is to just not repost. And he will I, generally I, I panic, panic parry. That. Or just do some dancing stuff. <laughs> yeah, isn't a bad idea in a repost battle. It's a fantastic idea. Yeah, if you think the tempo is like going back and forth and back and forth, just take it into your own hands. Yeah. Or use a mace. Nothing I could do. Maces are great. <laughs> there it is, folks. God, throw me off. It's a fantastic tactic, yeah. All right, and now uh, just one more battle. I'm going to use my, probably one of my favorite uh, night weapon. Go ahead and just use whatever you want at this point, Sin. I've got my baby, the Messer. We're going to have one more duel. Oh, then, Christ. Then we're going to play a little bit of T.O. just to show you guys what to do. Come here, you. That is offending your popularity because it's like, what, 5.30 right now or something like that? Uh, the what now? <laughs> like, super early in the morning. I don't know if I will be on any TOs. All right. Rixie. In before dragging tactics. <laughs> that wasn't even a repose. Cheeky little faint. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> GG. GG. Good fight. <clears throat> All right, guys. We will be back in Team Objective in just a moment. And we're back in Team Objective. Only 7 minutes and 45 seconds on the clock, but that is plenty of time. Show you guys some repose stuff. So, I'm using the Messer, and I would classify this as definitely a slower weapon. Great for dragging, and great for accelerated reposting. And let's see if we can't get some of that going on right now. This is going to be kind of like a Moronic Monday, in that I will probably be, be like... 
mostly attacking in forms of in the form of uh, reposts. I say that and then that happens. What the heck is this archer doing? <laughs> he's dying. That's what he's doing. All right, I, I, I just said. I know what I just said, but but I'm gonna. You have to hit people like this. Oh lord. Okay, this is more dragging than anything else. Oh, bro. All right, I'm not doing enough of those whirlwinds. Dude, chingy looks biscuits. All right, so I'm gonna switch out of the Mester. Let's go to something heavier. The Grand Mace. The Grand Mace I would classify as medium speed. It's fantastic for things like reverse reposts, though. It's fabulous. Let's come on over there. Oh, also, I don't know why I didn't include shields at all in this. You can't repost with a shield, if you didn't realize. Uh, and reposting against a shield is sometimes a is, is, is a lot of the time a ridiculous idea. Um, simply because they can just pull it up whenever they want. But, again, it can mess up your opponent's tempo quite heavily. Let's try to get a, uh, a repost off one of these guys here. Hey, I got a repost. That's good, I think. Hey, you bastard. You should have blocked me. I don't know who... Someone just hit me with something really heavy. Whoa! Whoa. Alrighty. I gotta, I gotta fall back. I'm gonna die. This is not a good place to be. Oh no, it's good John. It's... What the butt fuck? Hey bud. I'm gonna help out here. Where are you going, man? That's not how you dodge arrows at all. The fuck are you doing? Oh, bro. Shit! Ah, crap. All right, I, sh I actually should have waited for that second strike and just reposted. A lot of the time, what you can just do if you're in a 1v1 or a 1v2 fight is wait for someone to attack you and then repost to the other person. I didn't do that, though. So, do what I say, not what I do, basically. Terrible, terrible thing to say. Hey, look, 420. Oh, it did say 420. I'm... I'm like 12 years old. Oh, man, that guy on the cat is actually doing some good work. All right. Now, I know I said that you should repost a lot, but... Oh, Lord. Reposting doesn't mean anything if you don't enter the fight well enough. And I entered that fight horribly. I need to... I need to enter a lot better. My execution is just terrible right now for some reason. All right, finally! We're getting some freaking kills over there. Chingy Loves Biscuits is just... Wrecking house at the cart. We need to stop him. We're trickling really badly here. <laughs> hey, thanks there. There, yeah, teamwork. About damn time. All right. Now we just gotta hold. Okay, that was very good in terms of just everything. I can't really make any mentions about repose. I don't remember what happened. Uh, someone is over here just hanging out, having fun killing people. I can't have that. I do not appreciate that. What the fuck? Fuck you. You're fucking dead. I really hope that Agatha has not gotten to the car. I'm pretty sure they have, though, because I hear dead. Death. I hear the sounds of death. No oh, shit. Where the hell is our team, dude? Oh, fuck! 
Well, <clears throat> not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of repose coming out. I'm, I'm just doing really bad. Are they gonna get this cart in? Oh fuck, they are. All right, come on. We gotta get there. Let's go with a quicker weapon. Bam. This is what I'm talking about. If we can't make something happen with this magic stick, then we can't do anything. Although I'm not very good with the claymore. Or posting with it is a breeze. I got you. you are stronger than I thought. All right, now we just hold for a minute 30. All right, now this weapon can pull off some redonkulous reposts. Obviously, you need to actually hit people first, and and not die. Not dying is a good good strategy. Let's go man at arms. That's the quickest way to show you guys quick weapons in a good light. Oh, bees get a double freaking ballista kill. That's something. And then he gets another double, but he gets a team kill in the process. Whatever. Uh, is there even a battle going on over here anymore? Oh, good kill. Good kill. I think we're doing good. Oh, bad spot. Oh, come on! Ah, team. Why? Why you gotta be like that, team? Come on. Whatever. Oh, Lord. Chingy Loves Biscuits is dead. Okay. I'm coming. I am... I'm coming. That's not how that works. But I digress. I'm going to run on in there. I'm gonna get a repost kill. It's actually gonna be pretty easy on this guy, most likely. Where the hell did you go? Well, it wasn't a repost kill, but, you know. I usually don't do this sort of thing, because it's mean. Hey there, jabroni. I'm gonna... Well, folks, I hope you learned something from this tactics. I know the team objective was probably not as informative as I would have liked. Only an eight-minute one. But it's there. It's square. It's, it's ready for bear. But you guys need to realize, you shouldn't be reposting all the time. Only do it when it is advantageous to your current position in a fight. Your current st status in a fight. Uh, but hopefully you guys learned something to that effect and uh, to the effect of reposting. As always, have a grand day and I will see you guys next time. Peace.